What's going on guys, it's Jake here. In this video, I'll be going over the best MP5 class setup. But before I get into the video, if you enjoy the video, definitely feel free to leave a like and also let me know below what your favorite class setup is, regardless of whether or not it's the MP5 or not. And also, last, before I get into the video, don't forget to subscribe if you like this kind of content. But other than that, getting into it. So I'm gonna go right into the video, no ads, no 10 minute long videos, just to get those you know, mid-range ads here. We're 30 seconds in, and I'm gonna pop up the uh, class setup right here. So as you can see, I have my MP5, and the main thing is gonna be attachments. So the first attachment choice you have here basically is between the monolithic suppressor or just between the monolithic barrel suppressor. So I personally like the barrel quite a bit better, but you know, it's really up to you. And then after that, I think there's some um, attachments here that are pretty much needed. So the FTAC collapsible is pretty much needed. That's definitely one you're going to want to have. Also the stippled grip, uh, grip tape, that's also another one you're going to ha want to have. Then along with that, the ammunition you're going to want to have is the 10 millimeter auto 30 round. It's going to be the most important by far. And then last but not least is slight hands. Then when it comes to perks, I don't think that actually matters as much. It's really what's up to you. I mean, whether you go, you know, I go scavenger ghost amped up because I do use an RPG or usually some sort of secondary that I'm going to want to switch to pretty quickly, but really it doesn't matter. And then honestly, the best uh, field upgrade by far, in my opinion, is dead silence. Really not another one you should use at all. If you're using this class setup, especially for close range, which I'll be using, and I will be running this on some shoot house. So overall, I mean, I think all those attachments are pretty important, like the ammunition, the sleight of hands, and no sight, I think is important. I don't really use a sight. I, I think having a sight on it kind of defeats the purpose of, you know, or really hurts you a lot, I should say, because you don't have that fifth attachment slot, whatever it might be. So I think the suppressor is your choice, whether you want to just do the normal monolithic suppressor or do the one that's actual the barrel mod. It kind of depends. I mean, if you're like leveling up the gun, like somewhat recently, like it's not a high level, you might have to just choose the lower level option, which I believe is the normal monolithic suppressor. But anyways, going to get into some gameplay here. And the gameplay is just me using the MP5. So with MP5, like I said, this gun is probably the best submachine gun in the game by far. And I also guess I forgot, I do use the Stim and C4, which I think are two pretty useful, um, useful attachment, or not attachments, um, the most useful um, lethal as well as uh, non-lethal thing you can use for it. And there's some footage of me shooting my own teammate. But anyways, I mean, this gun does pretty good from range. Uh, it does decent up close as well. It's not necessarily the best up close SMG, but it is really good at quite a few things. But I mean, as you can see, I really, really like C4, especially, especially on a map like this. I know it might seem a little toxic, but it's kind of very useful. And when you're playing a game like Hardpoint, especially the RPG, I mean, it's just the best second attachment by far. There's just not really one that does as much damage and can, you know, really blow up a squad if they're camping. I usually, as you can see in the gameplay as well, I tend to use my explosives more for people who are camping like on the bomb or, you know, wherever else. But I mean, this thing just melts. I mean, it really doesn't, if you're on a one-on-one -on -one gunfight, there really aren't a whole lot of other guns that are going to kill you if you shoot first, unlike some of the other guns in the game. I don't know if it actually has the highest, like, um, kill or like uh, the highest uh, fire rate or like kill speed or anything like that but it is I mean it is pretty good it really is solid and I personally like you know perk wise I do like scavenger quite a bit you definitely could mix it up with some other perks like restock is a good one as well instead of ghost just because if you're using some sort of a uh, lethal attachment like right here I kind of get in a situation where I'm pretty much I'm pretty much dead like I didn't really have much I could do right there because I didn't have any sort of explosive and there was a claymore right there so I couldn't shoot the claymore so that's kind of annoying and one thing i also really really like the rpg and the claymore for is for those annoying annoying situations where you are pretty much uh in a spot where there's a claymore in front of you you know there might be someone else behind you you can't really kill the claymore there's nothing you can do and the only thing you really could do is blow it up with an explosive because it's not in the spot where you can actually hit it so that is definitely something i like to do but other than that, guys, it's really it for this video, so I'm going to let the gameplay play out a little bit here. I might speed it up, cut to some kills, kind of show you how good this weapon actually is. 
But other than that, guys, uh, definitely let me know in the comment section what you think of this video. If you think there's any attachments, any better guns than this, definitely let me know. I think by far this is the best SMG by quite a bit. And I haven't, you know, used all of them a ton yet, but honestly, that's just because this one's so much better than all the other ones in my opinion. But other than that, guys, uh, definitely feel free to subscribe to the channel if you're into Call of Duty, gaming, that kind of content. I post all that kind of stuff. But other than that, thanks for watching. I'm going to let the gameplay roll out here.